We asked food bloggers from across Canada to share their very best lentil recipes. From all the submissions, we chose five to come right here to my test kitchen studio for a cooking show boot camp. Coco Brill made the cut, so we're gonna throw her right into the deep end and see if she has what it takes to be the star of the show. Hi, Coco. Hi. Michael nice Smith. to meet you. Nice to have you with us. So Shall excited. we? Yeah. Let's do it. Coco, welcome to the test kitchen. Thank you. Welcome to my world. Are you ready to be the star of the show? I'm ready to be the star of the show. Awesome. So here's your recipe. We've got it all measured out for you. The set is yours. Take it away. Yeah. Hi, I'm Coco Brill, and today I'm going to be preparing a vegetarian shepherd's pie. Uh, let's get started with our recipe. Go ahead. You, everything's there. It's all measured out the way you've written it, so you can... We can just... Yep, just get started. Okay. Um, do I have frying pans and stuff? Just uh, turn around. When Michael put me in the kitchen, I, I had no idea where to begin. I didn't know where anything in the kitchen was. It, it was pretty nerve-wracking. <laughs> Even though Coco got off to a bit of a rough start, I just knew her vegetarian lentil shepherd's pie would be a hit. So once those are going, I'm going to add my carrots and my celery. Coco. Yes. Let's keep in mind that this is video, that we can see that. You're surrounded by seven cameras right now. Okay. So let's, let's add a little bit more than just stating the obvious. Maybe okay. talk about the way the celery's cut or just whatever else is going through your head. Okay. Other than what we can see. Uh, I had a tough time uh, being myself on the set because I was so nervous. This was such a new experience for me. Um, I really wanted to do well and uh, I think it just got in my head a little bit. Getting out of your head and finding your rhythm can be a real challenge when you're dealing with hair and makeup and earrings, but Coco improvised a way to hang in there. Normally I add a little wine to deglaze the pan and add a little flavor. All right, some for the pan and some for me. Cheers. Once Coco added the lentils, she was well on her way. But the devil's in the details. So we'll have another kick at the can so she's 100% ready for her big debut. Coco, welcome. <laughs> oh my goodness, how do you feel? Coco, what we just did, it, it's so important for you to understand as you go through this journey that this is a tough job. One key thing that we want to do all day long is a three-part description of what we're doing. Just like a recipe has to have a solid structure, so does presenting the recipe to camera. So we'll first tell the audience what we're about to tell them, then we'll tell them, and then we'll tell them what we told them. Now I know that seems crazy, but that's how it's done. It is that simple. Other than that though, Coco, you're gonna kill this. I'm telling you, you are gonna come a long way in a short time. Right guys, right? Yeah. Is she not? Uh, working with Michael in the kitchen uh, was very helpful. He's so good at just um, providing information and making a story on the camera. Uh, it was good to see that, even if it was uh, sometimes hard to, to do myself. With the team 100% behind Coco, it was time to tighten up a recipe. Is that as we re review your recipe, one of the things that stuck out first for me was that you're using three different herbs. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for these to work with each other without getting muddy. They just sort of conflict with each other um, in a way that spices don't. You know, we often mix lots of spices yeah. together. I learned that sometimes Simplicity is better. You don't need a ton of herbs and spices. If you can get the same thing or better with just uh, fewer ingredients, a lot more people will be more inclined to make that recipe if it's simpler. Another thing I notice here is a lot of uh, abbreviations. Not everybody understands what TSP means. I mean, you and I do, but not everybody does. And one of the one of the prerogatives here is to write as clearly as possible. Take all possibility of ambiguity out of this. And that's why we're gonna spell out all these abbreviations. Coco's having a hell of a day. I think she's clearly figured out just how difficult this job really is. And she's learning lots, but she hasn't quite figured out yet how to let her own personality shine. If she can do that, 
Hashtag rock the kitchen. Hi, I'm Coco Brill from Coco's Kitchen. I'm here today to show you how to nourish your guts with a healthy recipe for vegetarian lentil shepherd's pie. Now this shepherd's pie has a protein rich lentil filling and it's topped with creamy mashed potatoes. Let's get cooking. First up are mashed potatoes. Peel and chop four baking potatoes and let them simmer away until they're soft and tender. So I became a vegetarian when I was a stubborn 10 year old kid that loved animals. And the rest of my family ate meat. So if I didn't want to starve, I had to learn to do a little cooking for myself. My mashed potatoes are ready to go and I'm gonna get started on my lentil filling. Add your onions, carrots, celery, and garlic to the pan. These are really gonna create the flavor base for this dish. And as I always say, a splash for the pan, a splash for myself. Cheers. I'm using canned lentils today because it saves me a lot of time. They're just as good nutritionally as dried lentils. Just be sure to drain them and rinse them to get rid of any of that excess salt or liquid that's left over from the can. Finish the lentil filling with tomatoes, corn, and peas. It's smelling so delicious in here. And I love how you can see all the different colors of the vegetables. I just know this is gonna be an amazing and nutritious meal. Now last to join this party is our sea salt and our fresh sage. Now you can use any herb that you want. I love sage, but rosemary, thyme, or oregano would all be great. Put your shepherd's pie in the oven at 400 degrees. This lentil shepherd's pie is looking awesome. Has that perfect crispy golden brown potato topping, bubbling up, it smells amazing. Can't wait to dig in. Mm. It tastes so amazing. Reminds me of those Sunday dinners that I had as a kid. I'm Coco Brill from Coco's Kitchen, your Canadian lentils star of the show. A star is born. Oh! Shut up. Uh, we got it. <laughs> Did you get that on film at least?